Looks like some steelhead. So we just gotta add chicken to all this because the sea lions will make this their, their dinner for sure if we don't throw some chicken in here too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a little bit of chicken in here and I'm gonna throw chicken in this bag right here and we'll seal it all together. Um, you know, this cage, these cages are pretty sweet. It's not the ideal cage. They can escape out of here because all they have gotta do is step on it just right to have it, you know, lay the wall down. But for the most part, this cage works pretty well and it's nice and lightweight and you can throw it out there nice and far. It, it's, it's the perfect weight so that when you're throwing it out there in a heavy tide, it's not gonna kick around and slide around. It's gonna sit down nicely and uh, stay perfect and be catching crab the whole time. Sweet, well, I pretty much, I think I could fit all of it. It's gonna be perfect. So as you can see, we got a bunch of fish in our bait bag um, and the bait, the bait cage itself. Um, sea lions love fish. So if you only have fish in your bait cage, they will come in here and destroy it. They'll take everything they want. Um, I've, I've had them come back almost folded in half before. Anyway, the way to avoid that is to put small pieces of chicken in with your fish. So as you can see in this cage here, I've put um, a small piece in each corner next to the fish and that will literally make the sea lion not even want to mess with it. They'll go to the next guy's cage. It's super wild and weird that that works too. That like it's just weird. a little bit of chicken yeah. with the fish and they're, they get they're thrown like, oh, off nah, I'm over it. I don't care and, and, you, and your chances of somebody else being out there with a cage that just has fish is pretty good so fish a lot with crabs sometimes you can just do chicken only they the crabs will eat chicken only but you know we've said in other episodes before that we you know you want to have the best bait out there your best chance to get in the crab when there's tons of cages around and the crab come to your cage is having the best bait so with that being said salmon is the best but the sea lions will try to take it. So you gotta do something to kind of hide that flavor, hide that scent, at least enough time to get some crabs in there, get them pulled, get your limit, go home. You know, one of the big things that people tend to forget while they're crabbing is, as you're throwing your cage out, you wanna make sure that that cage is nice and flat when it's hitting the water. You know, a lot of the cages have the doors on them. And if that thing's, you know, leaned any which way, the door could stay flapped up and stay open and let crab out. And you don't want that. We didn't catch anything. Well, we did catch a bunch of small ones. Bunch of littles. But we are gonna go ahead to the actual mission for the day well i guess i can call it the mission for the night because uh we're gonna go post up on stripers we're gonna go try to lock in um all the goodness up there so sit back relax don't go anywhere